anti-LGBT Christian college probed by the state of Washington amid student protests. A private Christian liberal arts institution, Seattle Pacific University in the state of Washington, is facing an investigation by the state's attorney general over an alleged pro prohibition on hiring members of the LGBT community. In response, on July 27th, the university filed a complaint against Washington State Attorney General Bob Ferguson. At the height of the controversy is the university at, at the heart of the controversy is the university's employee lifestyle guidelines, which mandate that employees are not allowed to engage in same sex sexual activity, extramarital sex, or cohabitating before marriage. The complaint from the university explained that, quote, the U.S. Constitution recognizes and protects the right of Seattle Pacific University to decide matters of faith and doctrine and to hire employees who share its religious beliefs and to select and maintain and retain ministers free from government interference. Some students have already created plans to file legal action against the university's board of trustees for its, quote, homophobic and discriminatory employee lifestyle expectations. The issue caught international attention when a video of this year's graduation ceremony, where 50 stu students handed the school's president pride flags instead of shaking his hand, went viral. Tracy uh, Norlean, the spokesperson of Seattle Pacific University, said the university will not be changing its established lifestyle guidelines for its employees, despite the protests. Um, so let me let me break it down. Uh, let me let me do a breakdown of the timeline of events. So Seattle Pacific University is a Christian private university and they have, they're part of like the free Methodist congregation. As part of their employee lifestyle expectations, they tell their employees that their employees are not allowed to live with a partner before they get married. They are not allowed to have sex before they get married and they are not allowed to have same sex relationships or sexual activity. These are the expectations and conditions of working for this university. Now, this got all a lot of attention was drawn to this when there was um, uh, someone who was wanted to be hired as a started tried to sue the university for not hiring them because they were gay. And then what happened was so when it, within an in, within a university, you know, there's like various levels of the administration. And one of the most important ones is the board of trustees. They get to set some of these rules and the board of trustees basically voted and they're like, yeah, we're not going to change. We're not going to change our employee lifestyle expectations. You guys can suck it up. In response, all of the faculty gave a vote of no confidence to the board of trustees. The board of trustees has only doubled down. Um, Meanwhile, all the students have been protesting for a really long time. Uh, during May, there was a month-long sit-in where students occupied a portion of the campus for a month straight in protest of these rules. And then, then there was the moment that went viral when everyone was graduating. And instead of when they're, hand, when they're getting their diploma handed to them, instead of shaking the hand of the president, they hand him a pride flag. And so one after another, after another, after another, he's like getting all these pride flags. <laughs> is there and, a video of that? Or yeah, it's it at the bottom. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. And um, so this this video clip went viral. Um, okay, get some audio. And calling it there. Oh no, no idea required. Yeah, you don't need to commentary. show the audio. Or play the audio. Um, we can just watch this in the background. It's pretty cute, actually. By the end, he had like this pile of pride flags. <laughs> um, so the students are completely against this. The faculty are against this. The board of trustees has doubled down. In response, the students have said that they are organizing to um, to sue the board of trustees. They say, you know, actually, the school isn't homophobic, but the board of trustees of the university is. So we want to sue them specifically. So they're like raising money to do that. In the midst of all of this, the attorney general of the state of Washington announced that they are going to start an investigation into the school. They're like, you're saying explicitly that you do not hire people on the basis of this characteristic. 
that sounds like it's possibly illegal. We're going to investigate this. Sounds like it, yeah. <laughs> and in response, um, the the university is basically counter suing. They're like, oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna well they, the the attorney general isn't suing the school. They're gonna do an investigation or a probe. So in response, the school is like, oh really? We're gonna sue you. You're gonna investigate us. We're gonna sue you. So there's For like what? this battle going back and forth. So basically they're suing on the basis of um, like infringement of first amendment rights, because they're saying we have a first amendment right. If it's protected in matters of faith and doctrine, and this is part of our faith and not for discrimination. Like, Oh my God. Like, I don't understand. Like, and the, no, yeah. well, here's the thing. The, so the Seattle Pacific university is part of the free Methodist church. Obviously, so that that is a larger body than just this one university. This larger body has said that if this school changes this policy, they will be excommunicated from the congregation. So the school is saying we like this is a matter of our faith and doctrine. Like if you are investigating us on the ma matter of that, that is an infringement of our rights or itself possibly a form of discrimination. It's an infringement of our religious freedom, essentially. Wait, That's their argument. Your, your religious freedom to do what? To discriminate? Yeah. Or to mandate that those who work within their school follow according to their religious mandates. Well, I mean, okay. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, I don't know, saying arresting somebody because you have a recording of them trying to do a, you know, do a drug deal, like making a call, like, and then the guy defense is like well it's my i was speaking so that's my first amendment right like this is a violation of my free speech like that's like how dumb i don't know am i am i wrong about this like isn't this like isn't the fact that you're discriminating comes before like first amendment is about your right to just give your opinions not actually to do the discrimination like i don't know like isn't that isn't that already illegal and but, but the, the, I think it depends on the state. I don't know how you, your country is weird. Like you have different laws in different places. Yeah, I think so. This is actually very complicated and there are a lot of very specific technicalities of this, depending on the case. So in, um, there's been a lot of lawsuits about this yet. Yeah, Prometheus saying Armin, they might have a point. It's a private university after all. So this is no, 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 wait. You, if, if, for example, in the United States, a private restaurant cannot be like, we do not serve black people here. Like that would be illegal, even if it's private. Like there are certain rules that applies to private company, private organizations as well. But yeah, go on. I know, but they're not. They're not just. The, the difference is they're saying, "Well, we're doing it because of our religion, and the government rent protects our religion." <laughs> so yeah, okay. uh, yeah okay. it's just enough to make you livid. <laughs> You're like, yeah. "Oh yes, crap! That makes me angry." <laughs> um, so what was I going to say? There's been lots of other instances in which um, Christian schools have fired or refused to hire people on the basis of their sexual orientation. And depending on the situation, it has been treated very differently. So there have been some cases where these Christian institutions lost the case because they have said, oh, you only get to have these specific kind of rules and prohibitions if the position that that person is employed in is a religious one. So they like narrow down to when the religion takes the precedent over the discrimination to only religious positions. So there are some instances like that. And then there are other instances where people have lost, like LGBT people have lost the case that they were trying to get their job back or whatever. Um, against the Christian institution because for various reasons, the Christian institution, their religious freedom to be able to dictate, you know, what is within their doctrine in whatever way takes precedent over the circumstances of that person's case. Um, D. Boudreau is saying that, rel that religion has so much influence in a secular free expression country is frightening. Well, it's nothing new here, unfortunately. Um, and, uh, Christopher is saying, um, does Seattle Pacific University board realize that they're in 
Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, You're Seattle fine. is one of the gayest countries on the West Coast. <laughs> yeah. Gayest cities. Um, yeah, so this is actually one thing that's really noteworthy is that this is in extremely stark contrast to the culture of the city with which this is happening and like i've known a lot of people who have gone to seattle pacific university and they have a lot of contentions with how conservative of a school it is um it really doesn't fit within the culture of the city in that way um but then this also leads a lot of people to say that the attorney general is just taking this action against the school because it is politically po popular for him to do so and that he doesn't actually have much of a case. And unfortunately, I can see the ways in which he doesn't have much of a case. Um, now, granted, I'm no lawyer and he, they're just announcing an investigation or probe, um, but given various precedents, I don't know how successful they'll be, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Oxymoron is saying it's still a private university that is legitimized by the government of America, but the statement is a double-edged sword. Wait, they're investigating. So first of all, this is an investigation. It's not like they're already being like, you should, if they're, I don't think like it's a big of a deal. Um, if you're just like, you haven't been charged with anything, right? There needs to be investigations where they're, or their accusation you can't be like how they like there's enough grounds for it if there's not enough grounds for a charge there are enough grounds for investigations aren't there i mean you keep Wait, saying say it's private again? okay i'm just saying first they're saying they keep saying it's private okay um and i'm like again private doesn't mean that this stuff is not illegal and even if it's not illegal early yeah not necessarily but even if it's not illegal, it is questionable. So it makes sense to investigate it. At least it yep. makes sense to investigate the thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> Miss Linda is saying, ah, the free Methodist church. That's why the United Methodist church is quite liberal. The free Methodist church is very conservative. And mm. having known people who go SPU. Yeah, that was their experience. Yeah, exactly. Dar hey, Darko is making a good point here. Darko is making my point better for me. What if they decide they can only employ white people? Would that be legal? Okay, now, if here's the thing. I have um, I've heard uh, like constitutional attorney Andrew Seidel talk about this and basically the logic is the same. There isn't a very good legal argument to differentiate the two. If someone is saying I'm discriminating against you on the basis of your race because of my religion, unfortunately, we don't have like a lot of good arguments about that. Because if, if we have all these precedents that say in various forms, one way or another, you can refuse service to someone or you can discriminate to some, against someone because they're LGBT, on the basis of your religion, that same argument applies to the basis of race. So we're actually put in a really bad position in this country. Just we haven't gotten to the place where people are actually trying to do that, to my knowledge. That I mean, uh, I you're saying that would be. You're saying, are you saying that uh, technically it could be legal to in the United States to discriminate based on race? Mm hmm. Oh my God. So Darka has the same reaction. Well, okay, okay, okay. Based on what I have heard from lawyers who know this thing, like this is what they do. Not just like, you know, patent attorneys, like constitutional lawyers. Like they're, if, if you're making an argument along these lines for LGBT, you don't really have very good arguments to differentiate when it comes to race. Like if it applies to LGBT, then it is also going to apply to race because especially under the Civil Rights Act, both, well, actually Civil Rights Act doesn't cover LGBT. Um, it covers race. LGBT so think... rights in America are under the guise of immutable characteristics. That's why they are covered by law in the way that they are as civil rights and all this stuff. And race is defined as an immutable characteristic. This goes back to the Civil Rights Act. 
now granted i actually do not believe that sexuality is an immutable characteristic but this is just how things came down in america because of various cultural things regardless so but now that in the law they are understood as immutable characteristics and one immutable characteristic the lgbt you're saying oh well you can discriminate against that on the basis of your religion but then we have race over here, which is also understood to be an immutable characteristic under the law. Hmm. What's the difference? It's really, it's actually deeply concerning. Okay. Thank you for scaring us. Uh, <laughs> That's what I'm here <laughs> to do. <laughs> do you think, yes, interracial marriage can become illegal again? Insane. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Wait. Maybe. Doorknob Pet also killing me. Doorknob Pet is saying, can also th theoretically discriminate based on race. Hans, are we the baddies? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Time to ask ourselves. Hans, yes. Are we the baddies? Hey, guys. If you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.